Hi, good afternoon, my name's Simon Hater, and today we're going to be discussing an issue with VM Workstation and VM Player in regards of uh, random disconnects when using the bridge mode. So the bridge mode is basically letting your router or DCHP server uh, deal with the uh, giving you an IP address which is handy if you want uh, to emulate a physical connection uh, and get an IP address so friends and family can access your services on the internet and also you can share uh, view these uh, services uh, on the internal network within your home or uh, business um, but the problem is is when you're using this bridge mode you kind of get disconnected uh, for one or more reasons. Now at first it does look like an inactivity uh, disconnect where uh, after a certain amount of time it disconnects however my research has led me to believe, uh, to believe that it's actually uh, an issue uh, outside the virtual machine with um, VMware dealing with uh, the network card uh, which communicates with your router or DCHP server. So I've looked up many fixes and um, I found that there's three commonly uh, reasons why it happens and I'm going to discuss those with you. Uh, the one what worked for me uh, I'll share at the end and it's probably the most easiest to follow. So let's start with the first common fix which is basically go into VM Workstation um, head over to uh, virtual network editor and where you say uh, where you see bridge click bridged and where it says bridge to automatic you can either click uh, your network card or your wireless adapter as you can see here it can actually go through um, these are actually VPN uh, network adapters so I don't want it to be using that so you can go into automatic settings uncheck those or in the best case is select the network card you actually want it to uh, use so I click apply so that's fix one if that doesn't work for you then the next step is to update your drivers so head into device manager uh, head over to network adapters uh, VMware actually suggests you update the firmware uh, the majority of us if we don't actually use uh, like an Intel uh, Pro 1000 or something like that you're not going to have any firmware updates if you're using an onboard on the motherboard so the only thing you can try is updating the driver I actually did up, uh, update this driver and as you can see it's this year uh, however it didn't work and uh, but that is one method which uh, users have reported uh, for it working so what worked for me which absolutely shocked me because it's extremely simple I actually found that it was this nod32 or nod64 what people call it, it by es et or ESET um, as you can see I've dis uh, disabled the network protection and that fixed my problem um, so it could be your firewall uh, causing the problem so if you use a Norton or McAfee or in my case Nod32 uh, there's also Windows firewall do ensure that you disable them um, another issue could be is with uh, I believe with Norton even when you disable the firewall it still keeps the policies intact so for whatever reason if it has decided to block that application or that uh, the network rule make sure that you um, basically uh, override that somehow I can't explain without actually having it in front of me but try to rule out the firewall as the last resort and um, hopefully uh, these three, uh, three simple methods I've shown you will resolve that issue. Uh, thanks for listening, I hope it helps, I'll see you soon, bye bye.